Prince Charles swore during a radio interview, after presenters asked him to address claims he carries his own toilet seat, with him when he travels overseas. The 69-year-old, in Australia with wife Camilla for the opening of the Commonwealth Games, was caught off guard when asked about the allegation. He replied my own what? In response to the question from a reporter at the meet and greet event in Brisbane, before adding, oh don't believe all that CP. The radio crew from Hit 105 then took the opportunity to verify the prince's answer, with his wife Camilla asking, so he doesn't carry his own toilet seat when he travels. Don't you believe that? The Duchess of Cornwall said. The rumor was published in a new biography on Prince Charles called Rebel Prince, The Power, Passion and Defiance of Prince Charles written by Tom Bauer. Yesterday, Prince Charles's director of communications, Julian Payne, made reference to the claim in a tweet. Next to a photograph of Charles and Camilla being greeted by well-wishers in Brisbane, Payne wrote, The Prince and the Duchess's tour of Australia and Vanuatu begins, 30 engagements, 7 days, 1 Commonwealth Games, 0 personal loose seats. Payne, a former fashion industry PR executive, was appointed as Charles and Camilla's most senior spokesman, in 2016. In his book, Mr. Bauer described the prince as vain and out of touch with reality. The biography claimed Prince Charles changed his clothes five times a day, and as well as his own toilet seat, traveled with his very own mattress. Mr. Bauer said the royal demanded a number of items to be carted around with him, wherever he went including, Kleenex premium comfort toilet paper, fresh linen, and a radio. The biography was published ahead of Prince Charles' 16th visit to Australia this week. The radio interview at the Brisbane Botanic Gardens came after a man was forcibly removed from the event on Wednesday. Queensland police were forced to take action when a man started to lash out at the Brisbane meet and greet. In the footage, taken at Brisbane's Botanic Gardens, the bearded man appeared to reach over a security fence and scuffle with a member of the royal entourage. The footage goes on to show the man being led away from the event by officers. A Queensland police spokeswoman told Daily Mail Australia the man was led away from the crowd, after attempting to touch the prince inappropriately as he moved past. Police detained a man earlier today after he attempted to touch His Royal Highness Prince Charles, in the Botanic Gardens in Brisbane, she said. The Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall remain in Queensland this week, where they are scheduled to carry out official duties, at the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games. The Commonwealth Games opening ceremony kicked off on Wednesday night, with the royal couple in attendance. On Thursday, the Duchess of Cornwall dipped her toes into the sea at the Gold Coast, as she and Charles strolled along the beach. Camilla took off her shoes, showing off her rose-pink painted toenails, and walked towards the seafront at Broad Beach. Don't go in, darling. The Prince of Wales warned, as the waves lapped onto the sand. One of Camilla's aides held her green wedged shoes as she went barefoot, the sun beaming down on the beach after a brief downpour earlier in the day. The couple, on a tour of Australia, after Charles opened the Commonwealth Games on Wednesday evening, were then given a demonstration of a rescue drill by the Nippers Young Life Savers. They rewarded it with a smile and a clap before going on to meet with members of Surf Life Saving Queensland. Earlier Charles and Camilla tried their hands at table tennis, as they toured the athletes' village at the Commonwealth Games, with Camilla joking that she would leave it to the professionals. The Duchess, wearing a pale pink loose-fitted dress and a scarf adorned with two koala brooches, gamely picked up a bat to test her skills against Australian boxers Angus Stridesman and Caitlin Parker. She was joined by Lucy Turnbull, the wife of Australia's Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, but, with a laugh and a smile, the Duchess concluded, I think I'll leave it to the professionals. But Ems Parker, declared, she smashed it. Ems Stridesman, 30, added, it was a pretty special moment. I feel ready for my match now I've played royalty. As the tour of the Villages Games room continued, Camilla did not stop there picking up a pool cue, 
she looked bemused, but Australian shot put para athlete Marty Jackson was on hand to help her out and show her how to use it. Meanwhile, her husband spent a few moments testing out his own table tennis skills against a Bangladeshi athlete. As the ping pong ball dropped off the table, he threw his hands up in the air with a smile. Earlier, the couple had arrived at the athlete's village, on Australia's Gold Coast to crowds of competitors and staff, all eager to catch a glimpse. Both Charles and Camilla chatted to members of the England women's hockey team, including gold medalists Susanna Townsend and Sophie Bray. Ems Townsend said, she, Camilla, asked us what sport we played, how we expected to do, who our biggest threats were and then she wished us luck. England netball captain Amag Bees, also managed to capture a selfie with the Duchess. She said how it must be quite strange to be divided as home nations at the Commonwealth Games, said the athlete. It was great to have the Royals here, especially as they're British as well. After officially opening the Commonwealth Games on behalf of the Queen on Wednesday night, the heir to the throne will go on to visit cities including Darwin and Cairns, as well as the South Pacific island of Vanuatu, to see how its inhabitants recovered from a devastating cyclone, in 2015. The Prince also held a private meeting with Mr. Turnbull, a pro-Republican, on Thursday. Mr. Turnbull has previously spoken of the possibility of Australians being given their say on whether to scrap the monarchy after the Queen dies. Earlier this week, Australia's former Prime Minister Paul Keating claimed that Charles would support the country cutting ties with the monarchy and becoming a republic.